Hello elementary school students. In this presentation, I will show you how to locate and use this website, kidshealth.org. This website includes information about plagiarism, which is like cheating. The web page will explain why. The first thing you need to do is open up a web browser. Type in the address bar, kidshealth.org, and enter. On this page, you want to click on the box that says for kids. In the top left corner is a search box. Type the word plagiarism. P L A G I A R I S M and enter. A list of search results appear. We want to click on the What is Plagiarism link. On this page, you can read the information about plagiarism, or you can choose to listen to it by clicking on this icon. There are three pages about plagiarism, so make sure you scroll down to click on the next number or the continue link. The web pages also have words highlighted in blue, so you can click on these to learn more. Next, let's show you how to cite this source, since you don't want to plagiarize ideas from kids' health in your project or assignment. So what are we citing? In this case, we are citing a web page on a website. You will need the author or editor's names, if available, the article's name, the title of the website, the publisher's name and publishing date, page numbers, date you access the material, and the URL. First in the citation comes the author. The author's last name goes first, followed by a comma, and then the first name of the author, period. In this case, we don't have an author, so we would skip this step. Next comes the title of the page. The title of this web page is, What is Plagiarism? We put this information in quotation marks. The citation so far would look like this. By the way, don't put your citations in red. This is so you can just see what I'm adding to our citation. Next comes the title of the web page, which is Kids Health, and this would be italicized. So now the citation looks like this. Then comes the publisher. The publisher or sponsor can usually be found at the bottom of the page. Here you can see in the picture that I, I circled it in red. The citation would now look like this. Notice that there's a comma after the sponsor or publisher. Next comes the publishing date. In this case, there is no date, so we would put ND for no date. If there was a date, you would follow this format. First the day, comma, month, year, period. Now the citation looks like this. Now we would add the type of source. This, web, this source is a web page, so we would put web. This is how it would look in a citation, after the ND web period. And finally, the day you accessed it. First you put the day, then the month, and finally the year, period. Here's what it looks like. If you have the URL, add it to the end. Here's what the final citation would look like. Notice it is not in red, and there is also an indent before foundation and the HTTP. This is called a hanging indent. This is how you would format your citation in your bibliography.